After months of renovations, hundreds turned out for the grand reopening of a new Bemidji box store. Our Josh Peterson was at the Paul Bunyan Mall and found out it was mostly one key attraction that brought everyone in. For shopping malls, it doesn't get any bigger than this. A line that stretched from one end of the mall to the other, creating Black Friday caliber excitement, all because of J.C. Penney's grand reopening. But the draw for these folks is what lies inside Bemidji's J.C. Penney store. We opened three attractions. One is our Disney shop within J.C. Penney. The other is the in-style salon. And the third is Sephora inside J.C. Penney, which is our cosmetic area. The three main attractions exclusive to Bemidji's J.C. Penney were a hit with its hometown crowd, ushering in over 500 guests that waited in line to receive special offers and giveaways. However, most of those in line were here to visit their favorite Metropolitan Cosmetics counter. With lines that stretch the length of the mall, Sephora coming into Bemidji is a big deal. Just ask those who were first in line at the crack of dawn at 5 o'clock this morning. To get free gifts. Free gifts? <laughs> Sephora, I love Sephora. Love, love makeup. Okay. I'm really happy they opened one here. For Bemidji's JCPenney 90 year history, this is just another page in its history book. Uh, we are the smallest uh, JCPenney store to have a full size Sephora in the country. And Sephora wants to try in smaller markets, definitely by the crowd today, I think it's very successful. This is just a start of many changes for Bemidji's Paul Bunyan Mall with a Sephora, a Disney store, and the new in-style salon inside Bemidji's JCPenney store. More changes for the rest of the mall are yet to come. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. The other major changes coming to the Paul Bunyan Mall include the grand opening of a Kohl's. That store is scheduled to open its doors in September. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.